He wasn't the oldest tortoise, but he was the most famous, and he was one of a kind. Lonesome George was discovered 40 years ago alone on Pinta Island in the Pacific, a type of tortoise already thought to be extinct. For years, scientists looked for another of his species, but had no luck. They did try to get George to mate with similar species. That's him making a move on a female. Here's a slow motion replay. But as good looking as he was, George never quite came out of his shell. And so George was housed for decades in a special enclosure. Oh my goodness. He became a major tourist attraction at Galapagos National Park. Staff there say George died after climbing rocks. He wasn't moving much more slowly than he would on a good day as he was taken for a post-mortem examination. We plan to embalm the body to show people, to keep the message alive, that we must be more responsible in keeping the environment in which we live. These unique creatures and the utter isolation of the Galapagos made the tortoises part of an experiment in evolution lasting eons. It was here that Charles Darwin saw proof of how species evolved differently. Of course, man arrived and changed everything. Sailors captured and killed the tortoises, and farmers introduced goats to the islands, which ate the same plants as the tortoises. The importance of Lonesome George? There are 14 species of tortoises here in Galapagos, and at the moment, this is the third species has gone extinct um, at the moment. So that's a huge loss for Galapagos and a huge loss for the whole world. In the 1970s, there were just 3,000 giant tortoises. A recovery program in the Galapagos has raised the population to some 20,000 today, but none quite like Lonesome George. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Washington.